Welcome back, and let's go ahead and reset our enemies when I die. So this is something that sometimes you want in your 2D side-scrolling game. When your character dies, all the enemies get reset, and any enemy who was killed is respawned, and you have to go through the same grueling thing that you went through before. That's a, a standard thing you see often. So this is actually pretty simple to do, especially with what we learned in our respawn system where we, we were looking for when the global player is equal to nothing and creating the player, we can kind of use that same idea on these enemies. So let's go into this uh, logic cube right here that spawns this enemy. And let's actually get rid of the second one because we're gonna copy this logic. Let's also just call it enemy spawner. Right now it's still just logic cube. And we are going to not destroy this logic cube. This logic cube is going to stay there. So every logic cube will stay there and track basically if the player has been destroyed and if the enemy is dead then it should be respawned because if the enemy is still alive then we don't need to create a new enemy so first thing we want to do is check for if the global player is equal to nothing so global uh, player equal to uh, nothing just like we were doing before then have this as a child line uh, and instead of once, we do started to create jump enemy. So that will create this jump enemy goblin, but it's going to create it every single time you die. So this thing could end up spawning, you know, five different goblins. Say you don't, you never get to this point. You get here, and there's five goblins here. In order to change that, we need to create this goblin, set it to be equal to an object variable then check to see if that object variable has been uh, made nothing or not. And we can compact this all to one line. So on this create jump enemy line, we can add something new here. Let's go to values, object, and let's create a new object variable called spawner. And you're gonna see these red flags. That means that if you run it just like this, this won't work as intended. That's okay because it's gonna work when we say equal to. This does two things at once, and it's cool because it does these two things at once. First, it creates this jump enemy at position, root position, and second, it then, as soon as it creates it, it makes it equal to this object variable called spawner. So it creates this thing and makes it equal to an object variable all on the same line. And now we can reference this and say that when spawner is equal to nothing, then that's when it creates this jump enemy. Let's create another one of these as well. Let's jump into test. All right, so you see we have our goblin there. Didn't quite make the jump, but so we have our goblin here. Let's kill him. Let's get our checkpoint and let's die thanks to this goblin. So we died, and now this goblin's back. Now there's one other thing that I noticed, kind of a bug that we ran into uh, two or three videos ago. And that was the fact that, so we have our logic cube here, and it's pointed in this direction. Our goblin though, when it spawns, it's pointed in the opposite direction. It's pointed um, going towards the right. We want it to be uh, facing left. So in order to do that, we can now, thanks to the fact that we've set this spawner object variable, we can use that to then set the forward facing position of this goblin. So we're going to then say on this line here, do spawner, go to uh, positioning, direction forward, equals Let's just copy forward here, equals forward. So the spawner, or this jump enemy's forward, is equal to this object's forward. And now that fixes it so that wherever this logic cube is pointing, whichever direction it's pointing in, that's the direction that the goblin I spawn is going to be pointing in. So now I can finally put this right up against the edge, because the goblin will be spawned right against the edge, but he's immediately going to turn back around and then walk the other way go to test and what we see, we saw a glimpse of our goblin there he's walking the other way 
And so he's not falling down this ledge like he was doing a few videos ago. So let's just test, test to make sure everything's okay. We got killed by that goblin there. We got respawned here. And this goblin is back again. So very simple, very easy way to just reset your enemies. You know, we'll leave it up to you if you want to reset your enemies or not. Uh, but it's, you know, why not? It's, if it's that simple with just three lines of code, you can uh, do it. So that will do it for this quick tutorial. We'll see you soon.